Hello and welcome to this video. Today we were going to be steaming our rice. But due to the quantity of rice and due to the fact that I am wanting to save the liquid from the rice, I'm going to steam it in two parts. Um, so what I've done is taken my first part. I've already let the rice drain for about an hour to get as much water off it as I can and to have the water to go into the fermenter. Um, I will show you when I, after we get this going, we will, I will set, reset the camera and we, I will show you basically putting it in the strainer and letting it drain off. Once we get the rice steamed, get both things, portions steamed, we'll take it and we'll cool it in the refrigerator so we can put it in the fermenter and while it's cooling in the refrigerator, we'll take and I'll do, we'll look at the juice that came off the uh, rice, the color, and we'll put it into the fermenter. So without further ado, let me step off camera real quick and get my strainer full of rice. This is roughly one kilo of rice. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the, in the steamer. I'm using a bamboo steamer just because I can get so much more volume in it. Cut that off. Then I'm going to take cheesecloth. I forgot to mention that. Put cheesecloth in your strainer between your rice and the uh, steamer. And this keeps your rice from falling through the steamer into your water. Keeps you from losing rice is basically all it does. So I'm going to fold my cheesecloth up over my rice. There. that put the lid on it then I'm gonna move it to this pot that you can't see because of the now you can see it um, I use a large pot to do my steaming because I can fill this up full of water and go from there just Take it and go. I don't have to worry about checking on it. I don't have to worry about adding water to it. The downside to using such a big pot with so much water is it takes forever for the water to come up to a boil to produce steam to start steaming your rice. So in 45 minutes, actually at 45 minutes, I will probably check it and We'll probably, we'll probably wind up going an hour just because I feel better. To me, I get a better product when I go an hour. Does it mean you have to go an hour? Because I, the way I do something, it's not the only way to do it, and it's not necessarily the best way to do it. It's simply the way I do it. So what I got now is we've got fermenter here. It's got the lovely juice. This is an extra fermenter. This I will not be using this for the fermentation of this particular mock leaf. I'm just using it because it's got a big top. My strainer fits on it real well. And it's easy to collect. Plus, it's got this nifty little spout here on the front for draining my liquid into my fermenter. So, what I'm going to do now is my bowl. I'm going to take the rest of my rice. You can hear it. Hopefully you can hear the, the water.
I may be doing the, the rice expanded a lot more than I thought it was. So we, we may have to do this in three batches, but this is pretty much all you do is you have a, a receptacle to catch your water or your liquid, a strainer to hold the rice to separate it out, and there you go. That was my timer. I had set the timer on how long I figured the water was going to take to boil. It came to a boil quicker. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I'm going to set, go ahead and set my timer, 45 minutes. And like I said, I'll check it in 45 minutes, but I will probably run it full hour. Let this drain. Let, let as much liquid of this come off as I can. Set this back off screen. This is the fermenter, the juke fermenting so far that you can tell it's actively fermenting. You've got a lot of bubbles popping. Here in the next couple minutes, what we will be doing is transferring a lot of our juice from the rice into here. Um, the first batch of rice is still steaming, but I figure we'll go ahead and do this and get it over with. Um, so, without further ado, away we go. Hello, and we are back. Um, I have decided while that first batch of rice is steaming to go ahead and transfer a lot of the liquid the purple red liquid into my primary fermenter. Um, I hope you enjoyed the look, the, the active fermentation. It looks good. It smells good. It's it's doing what the, the yeast and the Nuruk are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So I have taken a measuring cup and I've cleaned it up, sterilized it, and We'll see exactly how much liquid we got so far. We'll put it into our fermenter and we'll give it a good stir. It should be noted that there's gonna be some starches and stuff that leached off the white off the rice into the water. about 450 milliliters in this first of it um i got three full of the, the this measuring cup at 450 milliliters and one at 250. so i'll do the math here in a little bit and come up with the final total because math is hard it takes me a minute sometimes but what we have so far is this is what our liquid looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and I left my stir off camera. Actually, I'll wait till we put the rice in to stir it. Um, so yeah, this is what we got so far. 
We've got about 20 minutes left on the first batch of rice steaming. And we'll be back on camera once the rice is cooled and we're getting ready to put it into the uh, fermenter. So until then, here we go. Something I found really interesting. Before we go to mix in our rice, I've noticed that everything had separated into very distinct layers in my fermenter. On the top, you have the water from the rice. In the middle, you have the liquid that is a result of the conversion of the starch solids into liquid. And at the very bottom, you have the remaining starch liquid, or starch solids, excuse me. Um, so I just thought that very that was very interesting and occasionally you can see a bubble popping across the top here we go of the fermentation so fermentation is still going on but this whole layer thing was just something I thought was really cool and I figure it's a good way to start off with the mixing of the rice into the fermenter Okay, we have come to the point in which we are going to be adding our rice into our fermenter. The rice, this the black rice doesn't clump and stick together like the sweet rice used in a traditional mock lake. So, we'll be using a spoon. We're going to ladle the spoon into the fermenter. And once we get it in there, we'll get everything mixed up real good. Um, like I said, it's, it's just kind of cool how we got these three distinct layers on our uh, fermenter. So, without further ado, let's get started. And yes, all my surfaces have been cleaned and I've come up, went over them with star sand to sanitize them, so while minimizing the effect of any kind of contamination. last bit of the rice put into the fermenter. Now all we have to do is stir it up real good, seal it, and put it in a dark place for at least 28 days. Um, probably the first five or six days I will be stirring it twice a day depending on how much carbonation I decide I want it, the final product to have. I may keep stirring it after that or I may stop. Um, so We'll go ahead and stick this in here. Give it all a really good stir. And we'll put my lid on. Get it sealed up real good. And there we go. And 28 days or so, we will have the part five of the taste testing of our Klingon Mockley. Until, until then, peace, love, better brewing.